What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you remember when we did that Pro VM series with Chad, we talked about how he had such a good look with urethane and I didn't even bring urethane because the pattern was 42 feet, because it was a little, you know, a little bit longer of a pattern where I wouldn't typically think to throw urethane and he made it look unbelievable. So on today's video, we're gonna talk about the importance of throwing urethane. So after that video, I actually drilled a brand new pitch black uh, which on screen here, I'll leave all the specs, the cover, the core, everything. The layout here, as you guys can see, for me is gonna be a 30 by three and a half by 30. So almost a maximum amount of flare that you can put onto a bowling ball. And we're gonna be bowling on that same 42 foot Earl Anthony pattern. It's about a three to one ratio. I'll leave the graph here on screen so you guys can see it. And if you guys remember that video, I also threw the magic gem on the fresh on that pattern and it looked what I thought to be pretty good. So I'm gonna get on the lanes here. We're gonna be on lane three on a very fresh pattern. No shots have been thrown on this lane. And I'm gonna throw shots with the magic gem and then as well with the pitch black, just to really show you guys how important having urethane in your arsenal can be. And also how important it is for you to be comfortable throwing urethane especially in situations where you wouldn't think that it would look amazing because i thought that i had a pretty good look with my magic gem and chad sure me and chad throw the ball a little bit different but chad had an unbelievable look throwing a, a fast pitch which is a urethane ball also made by storm so guys let me know in the comments do you guys just automatically take a look at urethane on a sports shot regardless of the length regardless of the volume just to see if it's there because I'm starting to think that's exactly what I need to start doing as well. So let's get on the lanes here. All right, first shot of the video, we're gonna start in the pitch black. Just threw a few warm up shots here. Still very, very fresh here. Good shot to start. So I mean, that's exactly what I'm looking for ball motion wise from a urethane ball. Very early in the front. Very smooth down there. Same spot here. Yeah, Chad, you were right. You were right. And then again, with urethane, or not again, but with urethane, we're just gonna park here. We're not gonna move a whole lot. Just really wanna stay nice and forward, control the friction. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh. From a ball motion standpoint, the pitch black feels really, really safe to throw. But after the shot, we'll go to the magic gem, show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, magic gem, I'm gonna move a little bit left. You're gonna see just how much more motion down lane you're gonna see from this magic gem. Wow, I missed right by a mile and it's still recovered. Let's throw a better shot though. Yeah, so I'm definitely not trying to shove it as far to the right. Really want this one to go more up the lane here. Like there. Oh, let's move a little left off that shot. All right, so just a small move off that wrap 10. There's a lot of oil in the middle, so I don't need to make humongous moves. See if that gets there. Yeah, see that's the issue with throwing reactive on these patterns that I don't have an amazing look, just close to a good look. Let's get back to the pitch black. All right, then this is gonna be back in the pitch black. Let's make a good shot here. Yeah, way better look with urethane. Same spot, uh, pitch black. Not gonna get it as far to the right this time because the last one definitely looked like I missed right a little bit. I think that's right where I want it. 10 back. Let's try to throw the magic gem now from the same spot that I'm at with the pitch black to see if that's even an option there. See what that looks like. Yeah, I mean, it's struck, but you could tell that it's not as early as the urethane ball. Let's go back there again. 
I guess that's why urethane is so safe to throw because it's so much earlier than even the strongest reactive resin. But same spot, let's see if we can get it to hook a little bit sooner. See? Yeah. So what I'm noticing so far is that the pitch black has actually given me more room for error and an easier path to the pocket. Let's see if that can continue here. Push. Come on. I don't know, videos like this make me, uh, make me wanna say and believe that everyone needs to have at least one urethane ball in the bag. This is actually a really good look. This is a much better look than I had when we filmed that video with Chad and I threw nothing but reactive. Oh! Yeah, even when I get it super up the lane, it hooks like that. Now, one thing I do want to say is that, like, urethane I'm never going to throw on house ever. But when it comes to these sports shots, like tournaments, sports shot leagues, everything, almost mandatory to have one in the bag. See, shots like that are the big ones. Because if I miss left with reactive, it's going to hook a ton like that last shot with the magic gem did. But here, with the pitch black, it kind of just sat there. All right, so after the shot, I'm going to give you guys a super important piece of information about urethane and PBA events. So stick around here. Time back. So the PBA passed, that was a really good shot by the way. The PBA passed a rule that all urethane balls must be 78 hardness or higher, but that only, only, only applies to the PBA national tour. So if you're bowling any kind of regional, any kind of non-PBA tournament, you are more than okay to throw uh, pitch black, basically any urethane ball. Now, if you're bowling a national event, it has to be the 78 hardness, which is gonna be the IQ Tour 78U. So let's get back on the lanes here and keep throwing some more high quality shots. So the biggest thing to remember is that the only time you need a 78 hardness urethane ball is if you're bowling on the national tour, PBA national tour. That's not gonna push. Oh, it did, wow. Now, if you're bowling anything USBC, Nationals, League, your tournaments uh, in your local area, everything, these urethane balls are more than okay to throw. Again, only the PBA National Tour. All right, a couple of shots here to round off this video on why urethane is so, so, so important. <laughs> 